like kind of swarmy kind of person now. That's not terrifying you or or either soup slowing you with a notion of taunting of the other side he's seen to one, he knows these things. Speak on that, that's another level. And to do that and to use it as a vehicle to score money is anti-Christ. So you have to stay solid. Because when you're solid, things can't pull your coattail and, and, and shug you and so on so and so. You detect it. And your defense mechanisms become such. This Anglo-Saxon society of Indian land. So you got to remember, these Indian guys and girls, they're the real Winters and Dukes and, 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 and Duchess of America. But when you say Indian, Mexican, you, you think of them as Buckley and right on the same level as a black man or a black woman doing nigga stuff. So business, war, and the herd of lamacy and the tributation of these things we take for granted. But knowledge, knowledge as the dominant overseer. She would show you how to sustain continual harvest of legible like black of the things of commodity. She would show you how to take care of trivial illnesses. She would show you how to insulate the whole society and illuminate the whole city. If you go out that notion and you think about retaliation, violence, so so and so, it's not an equal claim. There's a notion of two or three guys outranking one guy, a guy up in Asia they outranking him, um, a drive by. Territorial trivial. Acknowledge what is and just supply knowledge of those things. So when you see that ratio, these are the hidden statistic at the occurrences, at the history has showed itself, and we eye to eye. There's no dominant overseer complete. But it's covenant closet. There's no one sided or complete reign. It's covenant closet. There's no prolific like impeccable group of people. It's closed in the closet. So these hurts twistedly bond and make a person say, hey, we could have been fixing without no static. So knowledge what it is. So when a person in my level or another entity, keep your spirit open. Don't look for a criminalistic scenario. Don't look for some sadistic. Before you Yeah. Ready for that $10 deal? I, I know, I gotta get it. I mean, wait, wait, wait. Well, hold tight. Let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. Hold on. Hold on. Hold And like I say, I already right. sold the picture, so I'm gonna get y'all out of here dollar back. All right? Oh. Huh? I ain't worried about that. Okay, hold on, hold on. But you know what? Yeah. Let me feel this. Y'all don't even fuck with the man, bro. Well, what's the language, bro? This is good. Guys, mom, okay? So like with the hypothetical, you have to show dominance in the form. You have to be like a mark. I have to be not like I used to be. And revert a very scholastic. I have the power of two or three guys. I'm quick as a cat. But that's trivial, that's lamency. I want to show quick as a cat as intellect is. I want to show the power of dominance. So when my name is called, I have this impeccable like quarter. So when you walk abreast me, something about this dude. <laughs> so as you apply yourself, you have to show a certain type of, you know, kind of global thing. A certain type of entourage spectrum that they're always there. But when an outside person is not in your covenant clique, family order, or neighborhood, or certain buddies, so and so and so, it's hard as heck to blend in in a neighborhood where you just moved in. And it's like the chess clique, the uh, instruction clique, the, 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 the young business, young Turk clique. And everything is cool, and the people that just moved in, they're cool, but he's going to outrank someone. He's going to get on a certain level to our top buddy. He ain't the top buddy no more. And this guy get a man fired out of So in a hypothetical scenario, you got to produce. Get that man You got to produce a man ledger. Fucked man fucked up in the end. Oh, you got to produce a ledger of more. So when you're around people. Now, come on, partner. Come on, come on that, man. So in a hypothetical scenario, you got to bestow a certain type of spectacular. And when you do that, you ambiance a notion of utopia. You 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 gala a very dominant gangster type of I was satisfied. You go to a place where it's gangster subliminal, everything that they spoke on on the radio, the flyers, it's there. You go to a nightclub, you want the girls, boom, they're there. They butt make, boom, they're there. You want the guys, they macho looking the girls looking for a guy, boom, they're there. You looking for a fancy meal, boom, it's there. You looking for fancy like drinks and all kind of fancy cups and glasses and stuff. You get trinkets of how you say uh, beads and, and all kind of la 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 la. It's like, whoa. 
but when you hear about the gangster, the young people that try to play gangster, they still have flaws. So they'll say something out of pocket, non intentional, but just to fit in. They'll do some undercover and see, because the fact is money is lacking, and he'll show a notion of, okay, well, so and so and so. It's called aesthetic. So in the business, that's why America is so kinky. That's why every time you turn around, some foreigner group, let's kill the infidel. How can you explain a guy going to a science lab and making up a seed, a mutant seed, that can make a chicken look like a, a, a turkey? That can make, how you say, uh, what if you could take a frog?